Kate, that's Anna. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to the sixth Super Smash Brothers Newcomer Judging Arena. Wait, I thought it was the fifth. Mewtwo one, shut up. It seems I wasn't capable of being in Smash again. Hey, cheer up. At least your DLC back then. Well, now that everybody's here, I guess that's fine. Yep. So, uh, do you think that we could just, like, get this done and over with? I really need to use the little ninja's room right now. Well, maybe you should have went before we begin. Wouldn't that make a little bit more sense? Huh? <sighs> I guess you're right. Yes, it's nice when everyone comprehends. All right. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is one of the biggest games out there so far, and everyone being in here! Speaking of everyone, where's Pichu? Down there! Oh, hey Pichu! Uh-huh, you haven't changed in 17 years ever since we cut you from Melee. Um, we, we did cut him off, right? Haven't changed? I'm 24 years old! <laughs> Sorry if I went a little bit touchy over there. Say, how about you join with us? There's no ladders or steps. Come on, you can just uh, quick attack up here. Come on, D-roll up B with us. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Again. 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 Come on. D this is, come on. Okay, this is starting to get a little bit um sad. See, seriously, please stop. Come on. Come on. Th th this is not cool. Okay, we need to stop. Well, now that Peach here, I guess everyone's here now, right? Uh, actually, I, uh, I, I kind of needed to tell you something. Um, is there something wrong, Charizard? Remember in the trailer where... Me, Ivysaur, and Squirtle are all together. Well, uh... That's not them. I... Uh... I, I don't get what you mean. Yeah, what do you mean by that? If... If... Ivysaur and Squirtle are not the Ivysaur and Squirtle that we've seen in Brawl... Then... Who are they? I believe that is our children. Hey guys! It's been a long time, hasn't it? Oh, no way! Dear God, I feel so old. Yeah, <laughs> whoever thought that we would end up like this 10 years from now? Yeah, kind of crazy, huh? Oh, so that's why they didn't meet the cut in Smash 4. Yeah, what made you think that they didn't make an appearance in Smash 4? Wait, then who was Ivysaur and Squirtle at the E3 demo? That is my daughter. And that's my son. So, uh, I mean, just because my son's a squirrel doesn't mean that you should go take him lightly. He could take some heavy hits, you know. I'm being gentle with my daughter. Well, well, um, it was nice knowing you. Oh yeah, Charizard, when you're done, uh, we're gonna do some modeling for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We're getting Megavolutions back! Megavolutions, huh? Oh, speaking of uh, Pikachu, hey Jigglypuff, where's Pikachu? Pikachu told me to take his job for him. Am I doing good? We haven't even started yet. This is a warm-up. All right, do we have anything to say at all? Anything you want to get out of your systems first? Nope, I'm already fine. Nothing for me. All right, let the judging begin! <sighs> Our first contestant is Mimikyu. So, Mimikyu, what brought you here to Super Smash Brothers? And why would you want to be part of the roster? What do you have for us? Ah, <laughs> uh, I have no idea what he's saying. We're off to a bad start. That's why I got the paperwork. Allow me to read it for everyone, what Mimikyu wrote down. 
<clears throat> it says here, Mimikyu wants to become a fighter. Well, more like an echo fighter for Pikachu, because we're alike. That, and I really want to make some friends. But, however, I think I'd rather stay in a Pokemon. <laughs> I don't want to get my entire ragged, ripped and torn by the swords of Fire Emblem, get it burnt by people who use fire, and what happens if there's a stage that involves wind? It would blow it away, and I would kill anyone. To almost everyone. So it makes sense that I would rather stay in a Pokeball and assist someone who would. That is what Mimikyu wrote down. Wait a minute. I thought you wanted to be an Echo Fighter. Now you want to be a... in a Pokeball assist trophy? Um... Are you sure that's what Mimikyu wrote down? Yup, it definitely say so. He really wants to be a Pokeball Assist Trophy. Well, you do have a controversial health hazard history. So, yeah, we'll come aboard a Smash Brothers, but not as a fighter. You can join along with everyone over there. Oh, you got rejected too, huh? Hey, at least you tried making it. Not a lot of Pokemon got this far. Right, Gardevoir? Alright, next up we have... Lycanroc. Wait, did I read that correctly? Are you alright? Nah, nah, nah. Being a Smash newcomer is always nervous. I remember the first time I was here, huh? Yeah, and you also got me kicked out. Well, what can I say? We had to cut some people out. You had to cut me? Well, I'm a lot more better than you. Oh, don't worry. Just, just, just take a deep breath, then. And then, when you're done, just let us know. We'll- we'll take some time answering some questions for you. Is that right? <sighs> hey, you know I noticed something. What? He's, a uh, bipedal. Yeah? Not a lot of, uh, fighters are all on all fours. Well, okay then, uh, Lycanoc, what makes you a candidate to become a Super Smash Brothers? <laughs> Why are you all looking at me like that? Um, this is a bit touchy and... Well, you can opt out on this, but uh... Do you know what Le Like and Rock is saying? What makes it say that? Well... He's furry and you're furry? You have five seconds to say what's on your mind or else I'll punch you in it. I want to know what you're saying because you both speak Yiffenese. <laughs> what is Yiffenese? Oh, come on. You should know all about Yiffenese. What makes you say that? Because I'm a furry? Yeah, come on. You should know about this. Oh, whoa, whoa. What's this? No, this is bulge. Okay, that's it. That's it. I quit. I'm sick of all of your... So, uh, is this he taken? I quit! I am sick and tired of every one of you keep discriminating what's on my skin. Just because I have fur on my skin does not mean I relate to furries in general. I'm sick and tired of it. Have fun with it. Everyone is here. Well, guess what? Everyone isn't here. And I'm not just saying in Waluigi's case, but in my case too. Nobody plays as me. I'm not high tier like all of you. Well, except for you, Jimmy Pop. You suck. Huh. Consider our friendship over. Oh, 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 Hux. Oh, so sorry about that. I heard that you're quitting the roster. Care for me to have a spot, amigo? Um, oh, yes, it's, uh, over here. It's the tryouts. Good. Um, excuse me. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, 
I'll be on my way now. Oh my. Did, did I happen to miss something the long way here? Um, sorry about that. It's, uh... Someone decided to pull off something a little bit controversial to one of our judges. I didn't do nothing! So, uh... Um... How do you pronounce your name again? And, uh... What are your professions? Like, why are you here in Smash Bros. anyway? Well, besides being the best representative for Generation 7, I have a story to tell. Do you care for me to tell a story on why I also want to be in Smash Brothers? Just let him. 2014, Super Smash Brothers 4 was just released. But however, along with that, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was also being made. But there was a bigger problem. With the Pokemon trainer gone, and Charizard being the only one of the three to be playable along with Greninja coming to Smash, people wondered if there was anyone going to fill in the grass slot to make a type Trinity. Then came along Skeptile, who is one of the stars in the new remake and was destined to make the cut. But was cut after Bayonetta was confirmed to be the last character as DLC. Skeptile and the Horn Legion was dead. But when the Alola came, there was a chance that the new fighter would come and take the torch into the battlefield. That is where I come in. Not only to take his place, but also to fill in the slot. <laughs> Here, here you go. Here's it back. That's yours! Uh, are you sure this is not yours? No, get that thing away from me! No, th th this is yours! Get, I, I swear, that is not mine! But, um, Ivy Sword and the Pokemon Trainer are back, so, uh, we don't really need you anymore. If I were to use your logic, you and Greninja would not be in Smash, because there's already a water and an electric type fighter. Um, actually, I'm representing dark types now. We're a family, so, uh, it's pretty much okay for me to be the exact type. Being a representative of Generation 7 is a good thing, but that's not gonna stop you from getting a falcon punch to the face. Tell me, what type of attacks do you use? Like an in-game, other stuff, like... What is your main arsenal? Well... Besides appearing in Sunny Moon, Ultra Games, and for Porkin Tournament for DX on the Nintendo Switch, available now, I happen to use a lot of aerotype moves. Like, for example, one of my moves is Spirit Shackle. I grab an arrow, hit them, and it gives them a giant stun. Because in, in the in-games, I am known for not letting the Pokemon free from the battle. And my Z-move could be my final smash. Uh, well, we already have a lot of fighters who use arrows. Um, is there anything else about you? Hmm, well, you don't have a lot of fighters who are birds, and I'm also a ghost type, so basically you can say that I'm uh, dead on the inside. Yeesh! And I thought talking with Bayonetta was bad. And it still is. Well, guys, what do you think? You think the Sidoi is a good representative for Smash? It would be nice seeing you in the battlefield. Yeah. Uh, sure, whatever. Well, looks like we got three yeses from our judges. Ladies and gentlemen, and pretty basically everybody else, allow me to introduce you our newest newcomer to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Hold it right there, brother! Who said that? Dios mio, it is you! Hold it right there, mofo! You ain't gonna smash without me, huh? <laughs> <laughs>